Well, good morning. So nice to have you watching 3 Plus You. And as we kick off the show, you might be scratching your head saying, okay, wait a minute. Am I watching television or do I have the radio on? Because look who our first guest is. It's Ken Hicks from US 101. Good to see you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you for having us here today. Appreciate it. You know, I don't have a chance to see you very often. I actually ran into uh, you and your wife at was it home goods was yeah that we were the... shopping together yeah <laughs> ken was sitting there at the front of the store yeah. waiting for his wife to finish <laughs> i had found me a, found me a nice place to relax for a few minutes yeah but i don't have a chance just to talk to you like this of course i listen to you on the radio and just a few minutes ago he and i were chatting and i thought god you do have just the nicest most calming voice do people tell you that all the time well thank you i appreciate that i don't hear that very often but it's nice to hear really I, yeah, say it again if you don't mind. You have the <laughs> nicest, most calming voice. And the, the, I say that because you would hear him talk uh, and you, you hear that nice mellow uh, sound. But did you know that Ken is a singer? It makes sense, right? You've got this great voice. You can just carry it over into song. Well, I've been singing for a long time, lots of years, really since I've been a teenager. So it's really been part of my life uh, through the years. And, and of course, Southern gospel music, even, you know, I, I'm, I'm on country radio station. Right. love country music. I really do. My first love is Southern gospel music. Which is why you're here today. Because exactly. you're inviting folks to come out uh, to Parkway Baptist Church and it's this weekend, right? Yes, Saturday. it's coming Saturday night. It's the Tri-State Gospel Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Big night of gospel music. I think it's probably the biggest night of Southern gospel music in our area. It's a great night for a lot of folks to come together, particularly those who folks who love uh, Southern gospel music. You know, years ago, and I'm embarrassed to tell you that now the name is slipping past me, but there was a couple, they used to come in and sing gospel music for us on the show pretty regularly. Uh, it was a guy and a, and a woman, and he died a few years back, and I bet you're gonna be able to think of who I'm talking I about. I can, you're talking about Jim Ricketts. That's it. And Crystal Elam. That's exactly it, and they would come on the show, and of all the musical guests we had, they were the ones who people would beg us to play over and over. People love gospel music here. Absolutely. It's, it's an intricate part of this community, too, as a matter of fact. And, and we're going to have a great class of inductees this year. There'll be 10 people inducted into the Tri-State Gospel Music Hall of Fame. And you mentioned uh, a group singing. Uh, there'll be some groups singing there that, that evening. And it will be people who are members of the Tri-State Gospel Music Hall of Fame. And a lot of these folks have never sang together before. It's called a scrap iron? Yeah, we call it a scrap iron quartet. That's yeah. fun. There'll be several of those. It'll be, a, a, I think, a couple of ladies trios are singing this year as well. And, and there'll be some quartets. And then we have the Hall of Fame Choir. And it's made up of a lot of people who are members of the Hall of Fame. As a matter of fact, all the folks in the choir are Hall of Fame members. The, folks that have been inducted in previous years. Mm -hmm. And this year, a couple of our uh, inductees will be Peg McCamey Bean and Reuben Bean. Of course, they were the McCamey family. They mm -hmm. traveled for lots and lots of years. And Peg and Reuben retired from traveling off the road a couple of years ago. So it's a great way to honor their service and their ministry and the things they've done through the years. The kind of the featured act is the Neelands coming in out of Atlanta, right? Yeah, the Neelands, a well-known name in Southern gospel music, and they've been singing for lots and lots of years. And Kelly, who sings with the Neelands, will be one of the inductees this year to the Hall of Fame, and they will be our featured group that evening. When you talk about Southern gospel music, um, is, it all, is it sometimes hymns? Is that often the root of it? Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, the, the hymns are a major part of Southern gospel music, and, and it is really the roots of it. And you'll probably hear a lot, you know, you, if you go to a Baptist church or a Church of God church, you see the red back hymnal, mm -hmm. and a lot of those songs, a lot of those old hymns are contained in that book, and you'll hear a lot of those that night, too. You know, everybody has their own way of, of finding their worship, and to each his own, that's great. Um, I do like a more traditional church service, and the older I get, first of all, I know all the hymns by heart. And even though over the years they've changed the wording, I still sing them the way I knew right. when I was eight years old, so I don't even look at the book. But the older I get, the more teary I get when I sing, because I think back to memories of childhood and my grandmother, and do you do that? Yeah, it's one of the reasons that those hymns are timeless. You know, that it really doesn't matter what age you are, at some point in your life, I think those hymns, especially if you have, you know, it's your spiritual part of your life. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, those hymns are going to be a comfort to you, songs that you can sing. 
and uh, bring you a, a, a little comfort. So when people come out to the church on Saturday night and they hear these people take the stage and perform, of course it'll be entertaining, but it will be moving. It's intended to be. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's the reason that, you know, that's why we want to honor these people because they have given so many years of their life to singing gospel music and they have inspired so many people's lives with gospel music. And it's just a way to give them honor, to recognize them, and let them know that we appreciate what they've done through the years. Well, it's very likely that you knew this side of Ken Hicks to begin with, but if it's new to you to hear, then when you're listening to him tomorrow morning, cutting up with Daniel, just know that there's this other side of him that you're learning about today. And think about going out. It's a free event at Parkway Baptist Church. It's on Stewart Road in Fort Oglethorpe, uh, Saturday night. They do have donations, though, accepted. Yeah, it's a free concert. You don't need a ticket at all to get in. We just charge you to get out. <laughs> <laughs> it does begin at 6, and they'll be done by 8.30. You can be home in time to watch your favorite TV show. Get you home before dark. That's our plan. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> Seems like CBD stores are popping up on every corner. Make sure you choose a knowledgeable vendor you can trust, like the Hemp House. Choose from products that are local.